as an employee, when I visit HR, it automatically redirects me to the My HR portal. This is the service portal for HR. So as an employee, I can come in and see, first of all, announcements or news from HR. So it's a place to get updated on what's going uh, on related to HR. Uh, there's also a place for HR contacts. I can actually hover over uh, Brandon here and talk with him or chat with him. Uh, this is all because this is all built into Office 365. I can see any events, and in fact, if I click on this event, I can choose to add it to my Outlook calendar. I can see any news. Looks like we've added a, a new account manager here. Uh, I can see the status of my service request that I've put in as well. Uh, also, from here, I can also submit a new service request, uh, put in new time off request, update my employee records, take a look at useful documents, and um, look at the knowledge base, answer my own questions as well. If I'm a new hire, um, also I can go to the new hire portal for direction and uh, orientation, that type of thing. And I can also link to our payroll uh, system uh, and see my latest paycheck here too. So it is a service portal for just for me um, so that I can see all my information and things that I need. So first of all, I'm going to go in and submit a new help desk or service request. Okay, I open up a service request. Uh, I can put in information. So maybe I put in, you know, just had a baby. What do I do now? Very open question. Um, uh, and it automatically recognizes David. Uh, if it's somebody putting it in for another employee, they can do that and, and put the name in. Uh, this would be for employees that don't have uh, Office 365 IDs. Um, he's really asking about benefits, and he needs to know what forms do I need to fill out for a new family member. Now, he could have also gone into the knowledge base, and hopefully uh, there was a question like this, and he could have gotten the answer and so on um, as well. So once they tell him the forms, by the way, he can resubmit the service request and add the form as an attachment as well. But we're going to just go ahead and hit Save, and then that will allow um, it to go into the service request for the HR staff, and David can actually check the status of that service request down here at any time. So that's all about submitting a service request and what will happen also is if David goes to his email he'll also see a confirmation when the service request uh, is submitted here and then also when it's completed he'll also get an email com confirmation. So that's all about service requests. Let's go take a look at let's say he wants to update his employee record. All he has to do here is select this now from here, um, David wants to update some things and perhaps uh, he wants to change uh, some information, perhaps uh, address um, or phone, email, or that type of thing. Let's say he changed his personal um, phone number or personal email and it is now uh, David D at gmail.com and he hits save. And that's all there is to updating uh, this. And what will happen is HR gets uh, a notification that there's been a change. They review it and can update um, the employee database. Now, that's one of the key things here is David can never get at the employee database. Only the HR people can actually um, approve changes directly to the database. And these are all kind of auditable transactions as well. So David can also, if you're using our time off um, request system, we've got that built into the HR product. Or if you already have one, you can change this link to go out to um, another HR um, time off system. So with this, David could go in and perhaps he wants to take a long weekend. In February. Uh, it's going to be PTO um, and amount requested he's just going to take eight hours off one day. Uh, the start date of it will be February 12th and return on Monday the 15th. 
Okay, it'll automatically go to David's manager uh, based on who he reports to in Active Directory as well. Now, David can also check his own PTO data and see how much balances he has to make sure he can do this. And by the way, this is also made available to whoever is doing the approval. So David hits Save, and again, he'll get an email to confirm and an email once it's been approved. Now, another thing that he can do is also go in and view what we call useful documents. These are public documents presented by the uh, HR staff. Perhaps he wants to look for a policy uh, or a form. Uh, he can either browse just by clicking here and seeing the different policies out there, uh, or he can also search the library at any time. So if we go up here and search the library, um, he could go in and, for instance, look for a direct deposit form and it'll pop up automatically right here and he can open up the form. There's also a knowledge base that David could go in and search for any answers uh, to questions. He can also go out to his paycheck um, and see his latest paycheck which will take him out to ADP or whatever um, Radiant Solar happens to use here too. So that's kind of an overview of the My HR portal uh, as well and we'll also see out here that um, you know, a recent uh, employee record update went in, uh, service request went in as well. So these are all the notifications that are automatically built into this. So that's a quick overview of the My HR portal and how an employee can go in and get their own information, documents, and so on. Now I'm back in as David Demo, but uh, in this role, I'm actually a manager. And managers come into the same My HR portal, but um, if they are in the manager's permission group, okay, it allows them to do some additional functions uh, kind of on a My Employee basis. So um, one of the things they can do is change, make change requests. So salary changes, promotions, those type of things, um, and uh, submit those. A second thing that they can do is my performance reviews. Uh, the system will automatically remind managers and the employee of when performance reviews are due. The manager can then uh, click on this or it takes them automatically to it from the email and they can uh, download the form template and then submit the performance review here and be able to see the status of any performance review. Uh, another one is job requisitions. Uh, we will see there's none here, but they can submit a job requisition uh, just by hitting new and it will be for new jobs that will actually go through an approval. They can put in the description, the location, that type of thing. Um, once a job requisition is put in, they can look at my applicants and see all the applicants for the jobs that have come in and work with HR to select the applicants that will then move on to candidates and then uh, as well. They will. They also can see time off calendar for their employees uh, as well too. So these are all things that the uh, are relevant to being a manager and managing your employees as well.